Hi, my name is Anne Marie, and I am the Director of Development for the Learn to Fish Recovery Center. And today I'm honored to present to you the first show in a series, and it is called Real Women, Real Life, and Real Recovery. And what we strive to do here is give women hope women who have been hopeless, who didn't see a future, and we give them the sense of self and build their confidence, teach them the right way of life, and we have some tremendous success stories. And I'm very proud today to work for Learn to Fish Recovery Center. And on behalf of Sabrina Crane, who is our director and CEO, I would like to present to you some of the ladies who reside in our house. We have Christina, and this is her second time here, and she was welcomed back to very warmly. She wanted to come back to us. She loves our program, and she's going to do really well with us. And also Alicia, who for the first time ever has over 30 days of being sober, and she finally has hope and there's a glimmer in her eye for the future, and she hasn't had that in over 20 years. And also Laura, who is a recent graduate of our program, and she's been given an opportunity to work for Learn to Fish's recovery, uh, our thrift store, and she's doing tremendously well. So I am proud to introduce to you these ladies and our show, Real Women, Real Life, Real Recovery. Hi, this is Christina, and my name is Anne Marie. Christina is one of my favorite people in the Learn to Fish Recovery Center. She came to us a little over a year ago, and she almost graduated, um, but she decided to come back, and we are so proud of her. Um, she said that this felt like her home, and we are really honored to have her back and she's a tremendous young lady that just needed to be given a second chance. She has a lot of hopes and a lot of goals for the future now, and I have a lot of confidence in Christina, and I'm so glad to introduce you to my friend, Christina. Well, I grew up in Massachusetts for most of my life. Um, I did move around a lot. Um, I kind of had an abusive relationship with my stepfather. He was physically abusive. Um, I kind of started hanging out with the wrong people around age 12 to 14 and um, kind of grew up in foster care once I turned 14 to 18. So I mean it was kind of a rough childhood. Um, I got through it but like I said I hung out with the wrong people a lot. I would say the point where I knew that I needed help was um, when I first um, went into my first detox um, in Massachusetts. and. Um, yeah, it was a really low point in my life, so um, at that point I knew I had a problem and that I needed help. Well, I mean, it started off with marijuana um, and alcohol, and it slowly progressed from there. Um, when I first went into my first detox, I mean, it was horrible. I was extremely sick, um, and then when I got out, I was good for a little bit, but I went right back to the same stuff. and. It just got worse and worse from there. It, um, it really took a hold on my life and it got to the point where I would do almost anything to get the drugs that I needed to stay um, okay. Um, well, I first came to this program, I was in jail and um, I heard about this program through the program's director um, in Manatee County um, Jail. And um, I got released to the program and it got me a lot closer to God. I love the program. I love the people that um, ran it, and it was a really good program. I really liked it. And about five days before I was to graduate, I relapsed, and I was really embarrassed about the whole situation and didn't want to admit my faults and didn't want to face the people that I had let down. So I had left and I went back out, and I was on probation at the time. So um, I violated probation, obviously, and um, ended up going back to jail for a pretty long time. And when I got out, this is home to me, so I knew that I wanted to come right back here. So I had some of the people from church and from the program come pick me up straight from jail and bring me back here. 
um, like I said, I grew up in foster care, and after that, you know, I once I got heavy into my addiction, I would do, um, like I said, almost anything to um, get the drugs that I needed. So I was always living in and out of hotels, and you know, never really had a steady place to live. So once I came here, and they showed me um, what love was. They, you know, they always told me, "We'll love you until you get to love yourself." So um, I always felt comfortable here and, you know, I had a really good support network here. So I knew this was where I wanted to come back. Well, one of the main things was um, I never thought that I could have fun sober and clean. And coming here and, you know, being with a house full of women, I never thought that, you know, I could <laughs> get along with a house full of women. So. Um, but once I got here, you know, there's so many fun things that we do. We go to, you know, we go to concerts, we go to the beach, we go to recreational activities. You know, yesterday we had a kickball tournament at church and, you know, they just taught me how to have fun sober. And we have a lot of classes here that help us with like our codependency issues and, you know, our addiction issues, our anger issues and stuff like that. So a lot of it's really helped me. My dream has always been to be a photographer and I never thought I could get to that point, but um, a few of the ladies here that have gone through the program and have had, you know, a significant amount of clean time, you know, they've had, you know, they've gone up a lot. So, I mean, they're really inspirational to me. So it's really nice to see that, you know, I can actually do it. Um, well, I knew Aqua from when I was here before and she um, helped her out with the thrift shop that the um, Learn to Fish program owns. And so I knew her from that and she was um, a staff member then and, you know, we became, you know, pretty good friends and she became one of an, an idol of mine. So when I came back and she was, you know, um, the director of the house, the house manager or whatever, um, you know, it gave me hope that, you know, wow, you made it a long way. I'm, you know, I'm proud of you and I hope that I can come a long way like that sometime. And we can always talk to them if we need someone to talk to. Um, <clears throat> Most of them have gone through the program themselves, so they know what we're going through. And we have a lot of volunteer members that come through um, from out the outside and do classes with us and Bible studies and stuff. And they're all very, you know, welcoming to our stories and interested to hear what we have to say. So it's, it's really nice to um, have people around that understand. What I would tell them is, um, you know, I may look okay now, but I've been through a lot and I've done almost everything that there is to do and there is hope for you and you know um, as long as you come to um, a program that can help you you know if you want it you can get it and Learn to Fish is a great program for that. When I first came here I felt hopeless and worthless and um, never thought that anyone would be able to trust me and coming here um, it has opened me up a lot and um, made me a lot more honest of a person, less manipulative. I um, have people today that actually trust me and that's a really good feeling and people today that'll come to me and ask for advice and want to talk so that's a really good feeling and um, I'm growing as a person every day here. Now I'd like to introduce you to Alicia. Alicia has come to our program about 30 days ago and she's an inspiring young lady. The changes that she's gone through and um, we're really proud of her. We're really happy to have her here and um, I'd like to introduce you to Alicia. I was born and raised here in Bradenton. Um, I come from a single mother. She, my, I had a stepdad, wasn't too good. Um, I have a brother and I have a son, he's 11. I was in detox at Centerstone and when I got, when I was getting ready to be released, they gave me um, a paper with options to go to and they said Learn to Fish was, you know, a really good place for me to go. I'm an alcoholic and um, I also do certain recreational drugs as well and um, I, really needed the help. I needed to um, get my life together for my son. He's had a rough childhood because of me. So I'm, you know, it's time, I'm 36 years old, so it's time that I get my life together for him and for myself. 
When I was younger, younger, I had a pretty good childhood when it was me and my mom until she got married. And then um, it was an abusive family, whole family like type environment. environment. Yeah. And um, as I got older, I started running with the wrong people, um, started drinking heavily, stopped smoking, you know, cigarettes and marijuana. And um, after that, I kind of just, I had really no discipline at all. I kind of just came and went as I wanted to go. And um, so that kind of just put me out there in the streets. And that was my home for a long time. So this is um, a faith-based, you know, recovery center. And before I came here, I had no faith. I lost faith a long time ago. And when I came here, I started reading my Bible more, learning more about the Word of God. And I just learned to trust in myself more and trust in other people. I had um, a real big trust issue growing up, so I'm learning to open up more and understand people more. So I, I, I don't know, I just, trust is a big thing for me, so I'm trusting more. I mean, it's great. It really has, um, I, I finally hit my 30 days sober mark. I've never been sober 30 days ever that I can remember, except when I was pregnant. So um, yeah, they, I mean, they give me hope here. I, I really want to go back to school. I'm already in the medical field, so I want to continue that. Um, I'm ready to move into my own house and raise my son and just get back to work. And you just got to be ready to, um, you know, come and get your life together. Um, this place is a great place to come do that. They help you with any and everything. The support is awesome. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's a great place to come if you're ready to, you know, start a new life in a new way. I had no stability. I had no discipline. I had um, no trust. Um, when I came here, I had discipline. Um, I was able to trust people. Um, and it just, it, it's just really changed my life, like, tremendously. Um, I'm really thankful for this program. And um, I don't know, I'm just ready to see what the future holds for me because of this program. So I, it just basically gives me hope, you know, that I know I can go out and be productive without having to drink or use drugs. I appreciate the staff. It's a great staff. Um, they make the effort to go out their way to make sure that um, we're doing our best and getting the help that we need. And um, they just make a way for us to look at the future, to you know, be able to better ourselves and continue to work you know, towards our recovery. And you know, they make it a lot easier on us. The staff is great to me. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the staff. Now I would like to introduce Laura. Laura is a recent graduate of the Learn to Fish program and she's done tremendously well and we have placed her in a position where she is now the manager of the Learn to Fish thrift store. She's doing a fantastic job. She has a life that she's never dreamed of. She's reunited with her son and she has some really great things in store for her. I'm originally from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, but I moved to Sarasota when I was still a baby, about six months old. I started experimenting with drugs when I was about 11 years old, so I'm 31 now, so I've been in and out of detox and rehabs for the last 10 years of my life, but I was using for about 20 years. Um, in the beginning, it you know, numb me and made me feel whole inside and um, I had a lot of insecurities growing up. So using was a way for me to um, feel normal and feel like I fit in. Um, but towards the end, um, it doesn't, the drugs really don't do the job anymore. So um, I had a lot of guilt and shame and was really desperate out there. A lot of my family, um, has had problems with substances and um, 10 years ago my sister Christina she overdosed at the age of 23. It really affected my family in a negative way. In the beginning it was like partying, hanging out with friends, but in the end it was um, 
a lot of isolation and um, abuse. Um, I was really harmful to myself and to others around me to the point where um, in the end it was just me and the drugs and hotel rooms. I learned a lot about myself. Um, I've learned to forgive myself and forgive others and um, I developed a relationship with God and um, a lot of the girls around here. That's why I continue to stay since I graduated because this is where my support is and I feel safe here and um, this program has really helped me become who I need to be in life. So, um, yeah, I have a seven year old boy. Um, he's with my mother right now. Um, I've been in and out of his life. So, um, c upon coming here, um, we're starting to develop our relationship again. Um, I go and stay the night with him and he comes here to visit. So it's been really well. Um, it means everything to me. Um, I love my son so much, but it's, it's, Drugs, no matter how much you love a person, uh, addiction, it, it takes you away from everything you love and care about. But um, I love him more than anything, and it's just been a blessing to be able to have him part of my life again. Um, it's a real learning experience um, because I really don't have any experience in um, sales and all that, but I'm learning, and I'm, um, I've always had a good worth it ethic, and um, it's teaching me how to take charge and um, and to to just be good with people and talk with them and and I'm also doing a good service for Learn to Fish. All the proceeds all the proceeds from Learn to Fish go to support the program. So there's a lot of programs that we have. They're all volunteers that come in, but like when someone's volunteering their time to come in and teach you um, either a skill or um, teach you how to work on yourself they really care like they're not just here to teach a class to get paid they're doing it on their own time and um we had a parenting class that was um was really beneficial with me and um we have a lot of bible studies that i get the most out of because um without god i would not be where i am right now first and first first most i see myself as being a mom being with my son um getting back together with him full time and um I'm just kind of learning about myself, so I'm not really 100% sure. I just know I want to be stay sober and um, be a good mom and develop relationships back with my family. All my experiences with the staff have been um, have been really good. They all really care, and they you know they don't let you. Um, they want you to do your all and they don't take anything less, which was really good for me because I've had a lot of um, people enable me in my life and just let me get by with doing um, not my best. So they really care, They're, they really love you, like they generally love and wanna see you do good. Learn to Fish has helped me become who I am today. Like if you really want it, um, you can get sober. There is help out there and um, there's women in this house that love me and want to see me do well and without learn to fish and without um, them teaching me um, that they love me that God loves me and there's a plan out there for me I wouldn't be here and if I can do it anybody can do it well that about wraps it up for this edition of real women real life real recovery and I'd like to thank some of our ladies who shared their stories with us today, Christina, Alicia, and Laura. And I hope that you join us next time on Real Women, Real Life, Real Recovery, where we're going to be meeting with some of the family members and also people in the community and some of the volunteers for our program to share their experience and what they know about our program and how we save lives, serve women in the community, and serve the community in general. Thank you for watching this edition of Real Women, Real Life, Real Recovery. I'm Anne Marie, and if you have any further questions, feel free to contact us. You can go to our website, www.ltfrecovery.org. Thank you.